Code of Ethics, Board of Electrical Engineering. Pursuant to Section 9 of Republic Act No. 184, known as the Electrical Engineering Law, and Section 6 of PD 223, the Board hereby adopts the Code of Ethics for Electrical Engineers. Forward. Ethics is a set of moral principles or values to govern the conduct of an individual belonging to a group or profession on the basis of honesty, fairness, and justice. An electrical engineer should observe a system of moral principles and values, not in passive recognition, but as a set of dynamic standards to guide his conduct and way of life. It is his duty to practice his profession according to this code of ethics. The keystone of professional conduct is integrity. Article 1, Professional Life Section 1. An electrical engineer should discharge his duties with absolute fidelity to his clients and employers, and to act at all times, with fairness and impartiality to all, having due regard to public interest and welfare. Section 2. An electrical engineer should uphold the honor and dignity of his profession and, therefore, should avoid association with any person or enterprises of known questionable character. Section 3. An electrical engineer should strive to upgrade his skill and knowledge in electrical engineering in order to give the best possible service to the public which could be attained by interchanging information and experiences with other engineers, and by unselfishly contributing to the mission of engineering societies, institutes, schools and engineering and scientific media, and other public institutions. Section 4. An electrical engineer should only advertise his work or merit in a simple manner and avoid any practice that will discredit or do injury to the dignity and honor of his profession. Section 5. An electrical engineer should endeavor to extend public knowledge of engineering and shall discourage spreading the untrue, unfair, and exaggerated statements regarding engineering. Section 6. An electrical engineer should have due regard at all times for the safety of the life and health of his employees, other workers, as well as of the general public and for the protection of property that may be affected by the work this responsibility. Section 7. An electrical engineer should express an opinion on engineering subject, whether publicly or privately, only when such opinion is called for, his opinion must be founded on adequate knowledge and information of the relevant issues and facts based upon his honest convictions. Section 8. An electrical engineer should not issue statements, criticisms, opinions, arguments or other views on matters except where public interest is affected. Article 2. Relation with Client and Employer Section 1. An electrical engineer should be fair, impartial and reasonable in rendering professional service to his clients, employers and contractors regarding contracts or other agreements. Section 2. An electrical engineer should, before undertaking any engagement or entering into any contracts which calls for his professional service that will require or need the use of apparatus, other equipment or things in which he has financial interest, have such situation clarified in the contract or agreement to avoid conflict of interests. Section 3. An electrical engineer should be vigilant in guarding against conditions that may be dangerous or threatening to life, health, or property on work for which he is responsible, or otherwise bring such conditions to the attention of those responsible. Section 4. An electrical engineer should present clearly the known possible consequences or limitations of the work for which he will be responsible. Section 5. An electrical engineer should honestly advise his clients or employer to engage the services of other experts and specialists, and should cooperate with them in the interests of his client or employer. Section 6. An electrical engineer should not accept compensation from more than one interested party for the same professional service pertaining to the same work, without the consent of all affected parties. Section 7. An electrical engineer should not divulge confidential matters or information which has come to his knowledge concerning affairs of his client or employers, without their consent. Section 8. An electrical engineer should not be financially interested in the bids of a contractor on competitive work for which he has been or expects to be employed as an engineer, unless he has the consent of his client of employer. 
Section 9. An electrical engineer should promptly disclose to his client or employer an interest which he may have in a business that may conflict with or affect his decision regarding engineering work for which he is employed or which he may be called upon to perform. Article 3. Relations with fellow engineers. Section 1. An electrical engineer should endeavor at all times to protect the engineering profession collectively and individually against misrepresentation, distortion, misunderstanding or unfair criticism. Section 2. An electrical engineer should give credit for the engineering work to the person whom the credit is legally due. Section 3. An electrical engineer should live up to the standards of professional practice for electrical engineering. Section 4. An electrical engineer should not directly or indirectly injure the professional reputation, prospects, or practice of his fellow engineers. Whenever he finds an engineer violating the rules of unethical or unprofessional practices, he should not hesitate to bring the matter to the proper forum for disciplinary or for other appropriate action. Section 5. An electrical engineer should not compete with another engineer on the basis of compensation for particular work by means of underbidding, after the results of a public bidding are announced. Article 4. Penal Provisions. Section 1. Violation of any provision of this code shall constitute unethical, unprofessional and dishonorable conduct and the violator shall be subjected to disciplinary action by the Board of Electrical Engineering. Effectivity. This code shall take effect upon approval by the Commission and after 15 days following its publication in the Official Gazette. Adopted in the City of Manila, this 9th of May, 1988. Contributed by 2021 BPIIIEE Metro South Chapter. Soli Deo Gloria. There's only one institute. No one else can substitute. There's only one. Oh!